in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to add fonts to Final Cut Pro. Okay guys, so let's jump into it. Do you ever get bored with the available fonts in Final Cut Pro or have a specific font that a client is asking you to use to match their branding? Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a third party font to Final Cut Pro. And actually with this method, it'll add it to anywhere on your Mac. So if you're using Photoshop or if you're in the Pages app and you're writing something up, you'll be able to use these fonts that we add today. So first thing is first, you want to identify a font that you want to use. In today's font, we're gonna be using Carry Bold. And Carry Bold is a pretty popular font to use in thumbnails because it's easy to read. We're gonna download this on this website, Font Slots. I'll leave a link below. They actually have a free download. They do have a full version for $10 but we just need carry bold. So I'm gonna do the free download. That'll download to the downloads folder where it will be zipped up and we can now unzip it. As you can see, I already downloaded it before, but if we go into carry bold two, um, because this is the second one I've downloaded, you can see here the font files, the .ttf. This is the one that we're gonna want to put in our font book. So if you've never heard of the font book, it is a built-in basically directory of all the fonts on your computer so if you can't find it you can go up here to the search and you can type in font book and it'll come right up but yeah basically you can see all the different fonts that i've added here so you go up to the plus button here and then you basically drag in the files so you actually could just drag in both the dot t tf and the dot otf uh these are the two that you're definitely going to want to drag in there the other ones i don't think you need to put in there so that's okay but yeah you just drag these in and then open them it'll then validate the font and add it and like i said since i already have it in here it didn't add it again it looks like so that's good but yeah, now if you go into Final Cut Pro and you go and look for the font, so I'm gonna look for Carry Bold, which is starts with a C. There it is. We've got Carry Bold and Carry Bold Rough. So we've got both. Sometimes the rough one doesn't show up fully for some reason, but the regular Carry Bold shows up all the time. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. But yeah, that is how you add a custom font to Final Cut Pro for your projects and across your Mac. If this video helped you out at all, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos in the future, but I'll see you guys in the next one.